just because you're you're a, a high-tempered, um, hard-nosed kids from you know the streets of Philadelphia, that doesn't I don't think make you more apt to succeed than a, a, someone who's laid back and from Iowa. Um, I think that competing uh, is just that. I don't think that it's something that you can physically uh, see or physically judge someone on. Um, your your competition level is up here. It's not physical at all. Um, just because uh, you're very aggressive doesn't mean that you compete harder than someone who isn't as aggressive. Uh, you know, you see a lot of players that are going to take a lot of penalties because they're very aggressive. That doesn't mean that they're they're more competitive than someone who doesn't take a lot of penalties. Which uh, you know, you see um, like guys like Pavel Datsuk for the Detroit Red Wings, Marty St. Louis for Tampa Bay Lightning. These guys have won Stanley Cups. They've won league MVPs. So uh, just because you're, you're very mild-mannered, that doesn't mean that you're not ultra-competitive. And I think that that comes from, from up here. Um, and being competitive, uh, just like a, a person who plays chess, is, can be very can be very competitive person even though they might not speak even it might be very very shy you know kale sanderson is is a, as one uh you know example of a guy who's very very shy but to say he's not competitive would be very very wrong and so uh for me you know you do you do see some of those similarities between people who who are successful and and some some that aren't so much but that doesn't mean that because two people are different that doesn't mean that uh, some other aspects of them aren't. And, and, and we talk about competitiveness, to be successful at the highest level possible, uh, you're gonna have that in common no matter what, no matter you know, what your, your sample is.